The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Sin, we don't just fall into sin, but when we keep tossing evil in our mind, it gets to a point where there is conception. Then you have to give birth. Be careful of images that comes on your mobile phone. Because these bodies, things that you are seeing, have a Effect on your soul. Now we find it in literature. Sometimes you are reading a book. There is no human being standing there. But the book is so graphic in its description of naked things and sex to the extent that you can see it whilst you read the pages. And sometimes you may love that particular paragraph and you read it and over read it and read it and read it until those images possess your soul. The media is full of sex. Now, the word spelled S-E-X is the most attractive word. Even in advertising, sometimes you are selling just simple things like watches, but they have to put it on a woman's stab. What does watch got to do with a woman's style? Now, when you begin to indulge in these things, I will not be surprised that you go and buy pornographic material. Until that uh, an action, a habit has developed and the devil has made it a stronghold in your life. Can we read Revelation 2 verse 20? I read a couple of scriptures here and then I'll make uh, some assumptions and then bring the meeting to a close. Nevertheless, have this against you. You tolerate that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophetess by her teaching, she mislead my servant into sexual immorality and the eating of food sacrificed to idols. Now, this is a story about a woman called Jezebel. Now, he's talking about the church in Thyatira. 
says there's a certain woman there who by her teaching mislead people into adultery. How was she able to teach adultery in church? I suspect that it will be by her conduct. Because she was this woman is called Jezebel. She may not be the woman Jezebel in the Old Testament, but it could also be figurative. Or she could be a separate woman also who bears the name Jezebel. Jezebel 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 now let's go and look at the Jezebel in the Old Testament. Whether they have any resemblance in their actions. Second Kings 9 verse 30. Then Jehu went to Jezreel. When Jezebel heard about it, she painted her eyes, arranged her hair, and looked out of the window. Now, this, is what, this was a king who was so furious and coming against Jezebel. When Jezebel saw this man coming afar off, the Bible says that she painted her eyes, arranged her hair, and looked out of the window. For what purpose? <laughs> eh? What purpose? Mm -hmm. Now, if you are in danger, do you, will you have all the time to do this? I suspected that. We looking out of the window was a seductive act. The Oshé Jezebel, na yehu buefua, odi ebu fushie na eba na so. No be ihu no unkroti aso oba wa sheda chrosem se na wa koki kan ne niwechi edubriye na afi wa be jina mpumem na orishé. Or maybe she was unkempt, so she was trying to uh, dress well. No maybe problem. So But me, I don't believe Jesus. So Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 30. We are trying to put a couple of scriptures together and then I will make a conclusion. What are you doing, O oh devastated one? Why dress yourself in scarlet and put on jewels of gold? Why shape your eyes with paint? You adore yourself in vain. Your lovers despise you. They seek your life. Now he's questioning why somebody is painting and shaping their hair. He say, oh, it will not mount anything. Your lovers, they despise you. And he said, Obi ACC in Hona, Nitino, or Shishan, and said, Yet here, no fees or the Koyede, or so, what do for Kura or Mapo? Now, Ezekiel 23, verse 40. Ezekiel 23, 40. They even sent messengers for men who came from far. And when they arrived, you bathed yourself for them. Painted your eyes and put on your jewel, sending messengers for men. And then when the men arrived, they painted their eyes, they put on jewels and all that. I'm not against painting, even powder is painting. So I'm not against the color you use, but they are questioning why do that. So I, I think that some people do all these things for for a purpose. I don't know. Yes, make a set. Yes, or the normal strassra when you near the name of our assembly. And it's a dream. Ben and it did your way. And she said, Oh, sure. 
Obi sa se adenti no wo ye sa no. Bi jidi se nipa ni bi wo ho a wo wa dwen bi ya edi ne wo mo ye no echi. Now this one says that he sent for men and then he was doing that. Jeremiah said that all that you are doing will amount to nothing because your lovers will not still follow you. And then we saw great old Jezebel also trying to do all these things. But these things are done by some people to seduce men into immorality. Women who are like that, they don't mind shocking people. See, they can dress to shock people without being shocked. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Be careful of what you see. Be careful of all this. I'm praying that some of you will go and take some images from your phones and from the internet is a very good facility for all of us. You need to explore it. But why disturb your spirit when the Bible is teaching us to be careful of what we see? Internet so no a idea a ya a boy and so to me cosubi na a home bow on faso. Now so so adenti and I saw my home quite my son on my way a betete wokra. Don't say that as for me, I've not slept with the woman, I've not done this. Let's look at the standards of Jesus in Matthew 5 28. Men can say, Media, many of baby are and could die and mean ye be a young chess, so should we are yes to Christo, Eddie Siho, Amaya, Ewo, Matthew, and Pano. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lastfully has already committed adultery with her in her heart. That is from the master. If you look at a woman amorously, you have committed the act already. Sometimes some of us it's the only thing that is preventing us from committing the real act is opportunity. Just said here, Jesus Christ, I can or say so. Oh, she or bash her bonnet, and I said, Condon or come more. What fun at that? Now, near Tia, and they say, You will be brave or what? Near see and quiet yen to me, and yea, and he said, Yea, and yas, I'll quiet no. Queen Yam, Meda, how my. Now, there's another big one coming. Second Peter. Now, Cassia, but could be a bar. Petro, my tossum, you know. Verse 14. Uh, it, uh, it, yeah, uh, Second Peter 2, 14. This is talking about men. He says that there are some men with eyes full of adultery. They Aha. never stop sinning. Mm. They seduce the unstable. They are expert in greed. And are cares brood. Said, so that <laughs> these people have eyes full of adultery. Now, now, if you have these scriptures, then you must be very careful. He's talking about certain men who have eyes of adultery. They never stop sinning until they have seduced women into adultery. What that, the other word seduction is to entice, to attract and sway. So I this point we are seeing that men can do things for a, a wrong intention Women too can do same for a wrong intention. 
Emma betumia ya dia adwen bone ene die chire sana me man so so tumi shen eshe shen wa maya adwen bone na the bible is saying that there are men who have eyes of adultery then be careful how you dress I know it is a trossem emma yeti as yes a memma bi wo wa edwaman ahye won anima aniwa madia ene ye wahusi esi no hwe ni yi said the other to be careful how you sit na hwe ni yi kwan ya ofa so tena se Be careful, be careful. Because there are certain men out there with eyes of adultery. They pick any part of your body that is so exposed and then they follow it until they get it. Now, one day, you know what they say? Well, she will not pay for any baby, not so ordinary, she's so hard. Now listen. There is no need to make rules as to how to dress. But, but if you are a Christian woman and a Christian young man, you must try and dress decent. And so say you Christo ni ba Christo ni berma. E humbe hiya say wa musi si e no e be sweni. Be careful what you see. Now, to say, Job 31, verse 1. I want all of us to, to follow this practice of the great Job. Job 31, verse 1. I made a covenant with my eyes not to look lastly at a girl. Like the key, carry. Now, you are more than your eyes. You are a spirit. Who has a soul and lives in a body. So don't let your eyes control you. Control your eyes. And be careful what you see. Control your ears. Have control over the whole body of yours. Job said, I covenanted with my eyes that I will not look at a woman. Lastly, I will not. No, I have made a covenant with my eyes. This is a man that God was so proud of. Because so the temptations that we have in our generation, it has been before. Job managed it. And so he And God approved of him. In your generation, you can also manage it, and God will approve of you. Be careful what you see. Proverbs chapter 5. I'll read a few verses and I'll call it a day. My son, or my daughter, pay attention to my wisdom. Listen well to my words of insight. That you may maintain discretion. Discretion is the ability to know the difference. Your lips may preserve knowledge. But the lips of an adulterous person drifts on and her speech or his speech is smoother than oil. Say na obia oba sanseni anuchin e wo soso. 
But in the end, she or he is bitter as God, sharp as a double-edged sword. His feet or her feet go down to death. Her steps or his steps lead straight to the grave. Um, be careful of naked bodies. She gives or he gives no thought to the way of life. He or his path are crooked, but she or he knows it not. Now, on kwara da na anamo chinchini ko nia onimoho onimoho. Now then, my son, my daughter, listen to me. Do not turn aside from what you are hearing from us today. Na afi me mama ne me ma me ma munti amo na ne enfi ni me motifi me inche ne de. That's nice. Keep to a path far away. From her. If you get close to any lady or any man who is who is rushy to let you see the nakedness, keep to a path away from such a person. Say, Obey or Lest you give your best strength to others and your yes to one who is cruel. Yes, sir. What all the what who are the nina bema ebinum na onefe ama otrimo dimfo. Lest strangers feast on your wealth and your toy and reach another man's house. Na aho who eni wade ame na we. At the end of your life, you will groan. When your flesh and body are spent, when you follow all this immoral life, because you are, you are practicing seeing naked bodies, at the end of the day, your life will be spent uselessly. Now one na e di e chirino one penny penny. You will say how I hated discipline, how my heart spent corruption. Now one can say how se men tan enti e so na na me kuma chi enim men kuma chi enim keni. So today we are trying to tell you to be disciplined, the ability to to look at what you want to look at. And to avoid naked bodies and evil images that grasp the soul is also discipline. I would not obey my teachers or listen to my instructors. Uh, I have come to the brink of utter ruin in the midst of the whole assembly. Let this not be your story. But what you can do is to learn from Job. Make a covenant with your eyes that you not look lastly at man or a woman. Be careful what you see. Don't say it doesn't matter. I want to dress the way I want to dress. 
There are men there who have eyes of adultery. There are women who want monks acts and outside there who want to seduce you into immoral acts. If you indulge in things like this, you spend your life in ruin. But let it not be said of any of you that so this, cannot, your eyes have destroyed you. But I'm, but I'm praying that you take good lessons from this topic. Be careful what you see so that you escape the corruption. That is outside there. God bless you so much. No one tell me in Bible and say, "Obe tie yi no mo esuya na proya ewe ichire no bi ama wabrabu." Amen. Now, shall we rise? I'm sure from. Tonight, some of you are going to make your dresses a little longer. There are some dangerous guys outside. I'm, I'm telling you. If, if somebody has eyes of adultery, the person is, is a murderer. He can bring all your education to an abrupt end. But I don't know who is that fellow. They are all over the world. The devil is behind them. I want you to close your eyes. And pray for yourself. The Bible says, What David did displeased the Lord. What are some of the things that you do that you think people don't know? At this evening, tonight, remember that God knows that is displeasing Him. David, the, the messages that you receive and test. I want you to take a decision. Job made a decision. Of covenanting with his eyes that I will not look lastly at a woman. And he did it and God was pleased with him. You can be like Job. At the end, he was worthy and godly. You can be worthy and godly. In this planet earth, you can live above reproach. Job, And I'll challenge you to do that. For the sake of what God wants to do for you. Be careful what you see. I want us to pray together. Just within a couple of minutes. And take some decisions. Maybe you have gone even beyond just looking. You have been sleeping around with men and women. Now God hates adultery. He hates fornication. Just pray for his forgiveness. And he will forgive you. And tell yourself, I'm saying quit to this act. Oh, Goodbye, world. I'll stay no longer with you. Goodbye, pleasures of sin. I stay no longer with you. I've made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life.